Hi, Mr. Delgado here. I'm going to show um, how to divide um, by using a place value chart. Um, so here I have a 2 and 5 tenths divided by 4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dividend. I'm going to put it um, in here. Uh, so I have two ones. So I'm going to make two dots in the ones place. And then I have five tenths. So over here in the tenths, I'm going to make five dots. So I'll just go one, two, three, four, five, like that. And now I'm ready to start. I'm going to divide this, this quantity by four. So um, here I have four rows because I'm going to distribute this amount evenly in four into these four rows. So first I'm looking at the ones and I only have two ones so um, I cannot spread them out evenly um, in the ones place. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to change these ones into tens. So I take the first one and I move it over here into tenths. Now one one is ten tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I moved it over, so I'm gonna cross it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it to my other one. So I'm gonna move it right over here like that. And I got 10 more ones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten. Now I have, uh, looks like I have 25 tenths. Um, and now I'm going to take as many as I can out of 25 tenths and spread them out evenly um, into these four rows. So I'm thinking, what's, what's the largest amount out of 25 that I can divide by 4? And that would be 24. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. So I can take 6 six of these uh, dots and place six in each one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I got one. I'm going to put it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's I did that one. I'm going to do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I got rid of those. And now I have six more. Three and three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I get rid of those. And I'm going to do six more. So I got two and four here. Okay, so that's uh, like two and four. So I'll take this six right here and move it down here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, now I <clears throat> that's as many as I could spread out evenly. And there is one left. So when we have one left, we're going to go ahead and make ten of ten hundredths out of one tenth. So I'm going to change that into ten hundredths. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to spread these out evenly. Now the largest amount I can take out of ten to divide it evenly by four would be eight. So I'm going to take two and put it here and two and put it here two more and put them here and two more and put them here now there's not enough to if I had four more I could spread them out but I only have two left so um, those are going to further be split up into thousands so I'm gonna take one hundredth and turn it into ten thousandths two three four five two three four five there's ten and then I'll take this other one and make 10 more. One, two, three, four, five. So now I have a total of 20 thousandths, which I can split evenly into four 
categories. So that would be five each. So I'm going to take five, put it here. Five more. Put it here. Two, three, four, five. Five more. Put them here. Two, three, four, five. And the last five. Um, put them here. Now, there's none left, so I'm actually done with the division part. Now, the answer is one of these rows. So you can see that they're all the same. So we just have to see what amount that is. There's six tenths. So I'll just write it down here. I have six tenths, two hundredths, and five thousandths. So... 2 and 5 tenths divided by 4 is 625 thousandths.